All right. Here I am coming home with the car. And I think it's an 03 Buick LeSabre. Bought it from Copart. Uh, I think I paid 600 total. Won the bid for 400, but if you ever use Copart, there's a lot of fees and total bill after a $400 bid came up to about 600. But I got on the trailer, it started right up. Uh, radiators busted. So it needed a lot of work. And that was a uh, project for my kid just to. Radiator we made just out of some scrap tubing I had sitting in the woods. I uh, had a spare radiator out of an 87 truck, C10 Chevrolet truck, and we just kind of pieced it in there and uh, found a uh, transmission cooler off a belt loader from the airport that was in a scrap bin, and there you go. Uh, I actually bought this car just for the tires. Uh, I have a Buick Sabre, that's my daily driver. And we needed four tires, so this thing popped up on Copart. I'm always looking for a good deal, and brand new four Goodyear tires on it. So I decided to buy it. So for 600 bucks, we got a set of tires, brand new, and a lot of spare parts. I needed window regulators, stuff like that. So the whole deal was me being cheap, and I had no plans of getting it running, but. My son wanted to, so here we are, and it just spiraled out of control. We had a lot of fun with this thing. The hissing you hear sometimes is because there's no air filter on it. It's just sucking up everything. This engine doesn't care. Never did change the oil. And these little jumps here don't look like much, but when you're inside, it hurts a lot. And it's just us riding around a little pattern. I wish I would have filmed a whole lot more of what he did because there was times, I mean, this thing would run all day long. It'd go through 10 gallons of gas in a day just tearing up the place. And when we took him over to his cousin's house, there's no telling what they did to it over there. That's where they finally destroyed it. This hill here doesn't look steep on camera, but it's very steep in real life. So basically, this video here is just all the random footage I have. For whatever reason, I put these up on YouTube Shorts, just little clips, and they have been very popular with everybody out there. So I'm just making one big video with a bunch of the random clips and me describing stuff. Uh, like I said, this car here, for what I paid, we got our money's worth out of fun. And believe it or not, at the very end, end of the video, you'll see me uh, 
take the scrapyard. Believe it or not, I got like 350 bucks for scrap. So, you know, I got four new tires, a bunch of just miscellaneous parts, and then ended up getting $300 out of it at scrapyard. So, I did pretty good, I believe. We have been having so much fun with this. We're now thinking about getting something else. I'm not sure what yet. Uh, next one, I would like to have a rear wheel drive, maybe a Grand Marquis or Crown Big, something like that. God, man, this thing's crazy. But uh, it is a lot of fun. If you got land, I highly recommend doing something stupid like this. Because it's fun. It's hard to believe this thing here lasted over a year. No oil changes. Absolutely no maintenance. Open intake, no air filter, just sucking in tons of dust. It's not dusty uh, most of these videos, but there was one time my son had all his friends over and there was just the whole acreage was a dust cloud because they were riding it all day long, spinning out, donuts, whatever. And that engine was just sucking everything. At the very end, uh, right before they sent it on its way, it uh, developed a rod knock. It was overheating a little bit. It may have blown a head gasket, but uh, yeah, this thing was tough. I give it to it. And at the very end, you'll see when they let it go, they put a two by four on the gas pedal, threw it in gear, and let it just run into the woods. I don't know how fast it was going. There's a good little jump. Yeah, I don't know how fast it was going when it hit that tree, but you can tell that tree was really moving and shaking. Uh, it hit so hard, the fuses come out the fuse panel and flung into the woods. And I had the airbags disabled, I thought. And they blew anyway on that wreck. Kind of unsure on that one. But this whole thing was a lot of fun. We're getting close to the final part of this video where we sent it in the woods. I wish I could have been there for that. I had no idea that was even going on. Yeah, this uh, this old car is about to come to its end. Like I said, uh, a whole year of fun and all those parts for 600 bucks. You can't beat it. Uh, this little area right here is a lot rougher than it looks in the video. It's really steep. 
but anyway, stay to the end. You'll see the aftermath. And, uh, it just totally hit that tree. That's pretty dang impressive. But anyway, I uh, need some more subscribers. So if y'all like this kind of stuff, hit that subscribe button. And uh, watch to the end. Like I said, it gets good here in the next couple minutes. Ha, 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 ha.